Hello my scholars, you are welcome to my school YouTube channel and my name is Frank. In today's video, we are going to be learning about heat transfer. So relax, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Well, welcome back to my school youtube channel like i said earlier on in today's video we shall be learning about heat transfer so before we begin with our lesson let's quickly run through the objective for today's lesson so objective number one explain conduction convection and radiation in terms of the kinetic molecular theory two state the applications of the modes of heat transfer three explain temperature gradient heat flux and thermal conductivity four answer simple questions involving heat transfer so let's move to the next slide to begin with our lesson proper okay so when two bodies have a different temperature are brought close together heat flows from the body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature heat may also flow from one portion of the body to another because of temperature difference the process is referred to as the transfer of heat okay so heat energy may be transferred from one point to another by any of the three modes one conduction two convection and three radiation so let's explain each of these modes one after the other so we'll begin with conduction of heat so conduction of heat is the process whereby heat is passed along a metallic object from one particle of higher temperature to another of lower temperature without the particle appearing to move so for example if one end of a long metal so that metal could be iron or brass is heated after some time the other end of the rod also becomes hot and this is due to the transfer of heat energy from hot atom to the nearby atom let's move to the next slide so here we are going to be using uh, the kinetic molecular theory to explain conduction of heat. So this is a typical metal. Of course, a metal is made up of molecules. So we have to label each of those molecules just for illustration purposes. Okay. So when the end A, which is this end, is heated, molecules at this point, okay, the A molecule will vibrate about its main position with a greater kinetic energy and pushes the molecule B to do the same. Molecule B's increases in kinetic energy is transferred to C and so on until this effect reaches Z. Okay, so soon the kinetic energy of molecule at Z is also increased. As the kinetic energies of the molecule molecules increase, temperature increases and heat is then transferred from the hot part to the cold part. Okay, so that is just a simple uh, molecular explanation of conduction in solids. So let's move to the next slide. Conduction of heat in liquid. So liquids are poor conductors of heat. Okay, and poor conductors of heat are also referred to as insulators. So insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them easily. Okay, but uh, not all liquids are poor conductors of heat. For example, mercury is a metal, but at room temperature is liquid, so it's not a poor conductor. Of heat okay so liquid are poor conductor of heat except mercury okay which is a metal and is a liquid at room temperature and other molten metals okay with are conductors so below we describe an experiment to show that water is a poor conductor of heat okay so what is the aim of the experiment to show that um, water is a bad conductor of heat so what are the apparatus needed we need water we need test tube we need ice block we need bond soup burner and we need wire gaze okay so what is the method method one first thing to do is to wrap the ice block with wire gaze and the essence of that is to uh, prevent the ice from floating once it's dropping water okay then after wrapping the ice block with wire gaze then you drop it in the water in the test tube then the next thing you hit the water near the top of the water with the bond soon with the bond soon burner so observation it is observed that while the water was boiling on top the ice at the bottom did not mend so what is our conclusion the conclusion is that the ice did not mend because water is a poor conductor of heat and was not able to conduct the heat to the ice so for that reason the ice at the bottom of the test tube did not mend Okay, so let's move to the next slide. 
So this is just a typical of what I've just explained, okay, which is uh, an experiment to demonstrate that water is a bad conductor of it. So this is the uh, ice block wrapped with uh, wrapped in wire gaze at the bottom of the test tube. So this is the top of the uh, water that was heated. So when it was heated, it started boiling, but it was discovered that the ice at the bottom of the test tube did not mend. Okay, the reason for that is because the water was not able to conduct the heat from this part to the bottom of the test tube. Okay, so that shows that water is a poor conductor of heat so let's see some application of conductors and insulators now before now i've defined insulators i said insulators are materials that do not allow electricity and heat to pass through them easily okay why conductors are those materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through them easily okay so let's see the application of conductors and insulator one of them is uh, cooking utensils, okay, cooking utensils. So bad conductors of heat are used as the handles of those of our cooking utensils, okay. Why the cooking pots are made of metal such as aluminum, which are good conductors of heat. Then number two, have lagging. So insulators are often used as lagging materials in hot water pipes, steam boilers, hot water storage tanks, and ovens to prevent them from getting colder. Let's move to the next slide. Warmed. Now, woolen sweaters keep us warm during winter or cold weather to prevent conduction of heat from the body. So, what the woolen uh, sweater does is that it actually traps air between the fabric, and we know that air is also a poor conductor of heat. So, this prevents the flow of heat from our body to the surrounding, thereby keeping us warm. So, number four, we have double walls. So house is built with double walls with space in between them have air trapped in the spaces that act as insulator thus keeping the house warm. So let's talk about the next mode of heat transfer which is convection. So convection is a process whereby heat is transferred in a fluid by the actual movement of the heated particles. Okay, so in convection, liquids and gases transfer heat. So examples are the heating of water, cooling of transformers, heating of rooms by heater, etc. So let's move to the next slide. So on the next slide, we are going to be using the kinetic molecular theory to explain convection in liquid. When a liquid is heated at the bottom of its container, the molecules there expand and become lighter. They therefore move to the top and are then replaced by denser, colder molecules from the top. The new dense molecules also get heated up and become lighter and hot, then move to the upper parts to be replaced by others. So this action sets up a convection flow of heat which continues until the water boils. Okay, so everything I've said here, this is just an illustration of everything I've said above. Okay, so the, um, the red arrow represents the heated molecules, while the blue arrow represents the colder molecules, okay, the dense colder molecules. So when they are heated, when the bottom of a container containing water is heated, those water at the bottom of the container, okay, get hot, and when they get hot, they become hotter and lighter. So they move up to the surface of the water. Why those molecules at the uh, surface of the water, which are denser and colder, then come and replace and replace them. So the circle continues until the liquid finally starts to boil. Okay, so that is just the simple uh, kinetic molecular theory uh, explanation of convection. Now we've come to the end of the preview for today's video. But you can watch the complete video by clicking on the link in the description below and that will take you to my school website. There you have to subscribe to enjoy the complete video. So in the complete video, we completed our lesson on convection. We talk about the application of convection. We also talk about the third mode of heat transfer, which is radiation and heat application. Then apart from that, we also talked about temperature gradient, heat flux and many more. So I believe you enjoyed the preview of the video which we just watched. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and lastly tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we upload the next videos.